Welcome back to 21 Live. Twenty-one live coming back at you from Marengo Cave here in Marengo, Indiana, just about a half hour drive from downtown Louisville. So everybody watching the show right now, you're close enough to come and experience this and you just really have to. I mean, everything here is so amazingly, naturally beautiful. You're going to love it. Memories are going to be made. This is an experience like you have never had. And with summer coming on, you know, Steve, Steve's the manager here at Marengo Cave, and he's been here for years. It's still a wonder and a sight to behold to you. This is my first trip in, and I'm never going to forget the things that I see here. So it's great to make memories and to have this experience, and it's so close by. Come visit Marengo Cave in Marengo, Indiana. Right now, we are at the precipice of one of two different cave tours. You can take two different tours. One's a little bit longer. The one that's behind us, and we've got some kids that are on a tour right now. This is the Crystal Palace tour that we have back behind us. And yeah. really, even though it looks like, you know, we're in the same cave, really the same path, but two totally kind of different tours that you can Absolutely. take. Absolutely. Two different experiences. So if Crystal Palace is behind us, it's the shorter one. Tell us a little bit about the tour that you can take through Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace is the shorter of the two tours. It's uh, about a one-third mile trip, easy walking from start to finish. Um, as you can see, the people that are coming out right now, uh, they're finishing up their trip, having a great time. The, the Crystal Palace is, is one of the, the areas where you can see the formations up close and personal. Many of the formations are literally inches away. So we, we encourage people to take a look, but absolutely not touch. Uh -uh. So um, it, it's really a great tour and people enjoy it. And uh, we have people that come through daily and you know, it is one of the one of the most popular tours that we have, but the dripstone as well, a complete separate personality. It's a great tour in and of itself as well. And it's a really easy walking tour. Some people would probably love to be here, but they're a little bit concerned. I mean, I don't want to go down real deep into a cave. I don't want a lot of climbing <laughs> and struggling. This is really an easy cave system to walk through, right? Cause it not, is. Not really that far down under. We're considered a horizontal cave, so uh, really, once you enter the cave, there are 22 hand carved steps whenever you first enter the, the Crystal Palace, but easy walking from start to finish after that. So, so truly, for all ages, young and old, it's a, it's a great tour. The Crystal Palace behind us, what you can see immediately when you head off in that direction, are they called stalactites and stalagmites? It's been a while since I've been in elementary <laughs> school, Steve. I'm not going to say how many decades or whatever, but what, what are the differences between the stalactites and stalagmites? And what always stumped me was how does water ever stand still long enough to form anything. So tell us a little bit about the formations that we have back here. There are some basic formations that you're going to see on both tours. The Crystal Palace has uh, some of your, your tried and true formations, the stalactites and the stalagmites. Uh, from the ceiling, if you look behind us, you can actually see the stalactites grow from the ceiling down and grow from a little bit slower drip of water. The, the stalagmites that grow from the ground up, a little bit faster drip of water that grabs the mineral from the ceiling and deposits it on the floor. And then yet others, such as flowstone, actually grow from a natural flow of water that builds up over years and is called flow stone. Oh, and the, we have, is it Mirror Lake that we have over here? Right behind us, Mirror Lake, one of the reflection pools. It looks great. It's actually one of the, the most shallow areas as far as reflection pools in the cave, but looks like you can dive down to another level. Looks much deeper than it really is. It does. It, it looks like you could really just Superman off the cliff down <laughs> into the middle of nowhere, but you can actually just bend down a little bit and touch the it top is. of this water. It's, it's one of, you know, just one of nature's mysterious formations, beautiful natural creations. They're all here, they're all around you. It's an easy walking tour, perfectly comfortable temperature inside here year round. And we've got some kids here on a field trip that are having really, really great time. We've got some that are coming from the Crystal Palace tour, which is, is that about 40 minutes? 40 minute tour for the Crystal Palace, an hour for the Dripstone. Okay. And what are we going to find? It's a different experience up through Dripstone. What, what do you see up here? Is it a little bit higher ceiling? The Dripstone is a much larger passageway. It actually, from start to finish, about a mile, about an hour tour, a bigger passageway, but still a lot of really unique formations. Okay. What I what I want to know is when these kids, what are the, the names of the children? Blanche and Blanche Oris, and Oris. And they discovered this cave because of a sinkhole that the kids uh, in the area had heard about a sinkhole. Blanche and Oris go investigate it. They discover this this cave system. 
did it look pretty much like this when they took a peek in the first time back in the 1800s or has it changed a lot? How, how much is this cave system going to change, you know? The cave itself changes very little over years. Um, the cave itself, I mean, its age is 750,000 to 1 million years old. So definitely an older cavern, but in cave forms, it's really in its middle to late stages of growth. Um, the, the cave tour itself doesn't change much. The formations continue to grow year round, but itself, the, the formations themselves grow about one cubic inch per hundred years. Okay. So really, you Isn't have that a lot. No, it's I wish, not. <laughs> I wish ladies' waistlines grew at that same. In case. our lifetimes, really, if a formation grows an inch, it's a good thing. Okay. It is so beautiful in here, Steve. I mean, I, I, I'm going to come back. I'm absolutely going to come back, and you want to come here. Natural beauty. It's all here. Marengo Cave. It's in Marengo, Indiana, just about a half-hour drive from downtown Louisville, so everybody can get here really, really quickly. Uh, we're going to have a deal for you later on in the show. We're going to go around with Steve and manager Amy and see some of the other really splendid things that you can do here while you're on the property. It's just beautiful. I know you want to bring the family, and you can. We're going to be doing 21 Live the whole time from Marengo, Indiana, Marengo K. Stay with us. there's actually a flow of water coming down from above. Oh, wow. Yeah, just little things like that that make the tour a little interesting. Little, yeah. little fun facts. Mm -hmm. 